Hi guys, so if you are joining us for the first time, this is Denise Wadlamini speaking. Welcome to Academia eLearning. So now we're going to be looking at Theorem 1, which is part of the Euclidean Geometry for Grade 12s. Um, so Theorem 1 says that, um, says that the line which is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle right line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle so that is theorem one right for grade 12 by the way don't think of theorem one of grade 11 two different things so now uh, let's prove this theorem we normally are asked to prove this the following so we are required to prove that um, obviously it can be any alphabet depending on the shape that you're given right um, in this case, I'm going to use AD over DB is equals to AE over EC. So say we are given a diagram. Obviously, you'll be given a diagram if you're asked to prove this theorem here. So say this is the diagram and say this is my A, this is my B, this is my C. And then um, there's a line here. And then this is my D, this is my E. And we are told that these... Are parallel right uh, it's mentioned um, maybe the information that you're given is that um, DE is parallel to BC right so you're required to prove that AD over so AD over DB is equals to AE over EC so that's what we are required to prove so the first thing we're going to do is going to construct lines on our on our triangle right um so say you're going to first construct a line of be right so you join be here right and then it goes straight into the base of ad so you have a right angle here you can name this k and then um say now you're going to join let me use a different color you're going to join DC so it comes straight here and then it goes straight there and it's 90 degrees say this one you're going to call it uh, H right so this is what's gonna happen right I want you guys to notice this if let's say for example you're having a triangle that looks like this right and then it has a perpendicular line here of K right and this is a this is B this is C and if I asked you to find the area of this triangle you're going to say the area is equal to half base times height, right? And what is our base? Our base is BC, right? Multiplied by our height is K. So that's how you find the area of this triangle here. Say you are given a triangle. This is important, by the way. I'm not just saying this uh, for the sake of saying it. Say you are given a triangle like this now, um, where the perpendicular height is here, uh, which is your K. And then this is your A, this is your B, this is your C. And you're asked to find the area for this. So your area is equals to half base times height, right? So it's half multiplied by what is our base now? Our base is, not, is no longer BC because the perpendicular height is here at AB. So it's going to be AB multiplied by our height, which is K. So this is how we find the area of a triangle, right? So I'm um, going to do the, the similar thing here in this theorem. Hence, I, uh, I felt the need to, to explain that. So meaning, uh, we're going to first find the area of the top, right? Um, you can choose the color. Uh, I indicated two colors here, the blue one and the, uh, is it pink? Yes, the pink one. So let's first start with the blue one, right? What is the area of the top part with a perpendicular height that is blue, right? So meaning, what am I saying? I'm saying we're having something like this. Um, the top part it has something like this, right? Um, and if you are looking at the 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 blue line, then we'll have we'll have the same the, the following thing here. So it's going to be DE, right? And then the blue line comes like this. Remember, I just drew a triangle similar to this just now, and I asked you the area, right? So you're having this triangle. So so actually, that's that's what you need to, to be doing for this theorem. You can break it down like this right and then the area for this is going to be half what's the base the base is this one here which is ad right 
So it's A, D, multiplied by our height, it's K. Remember, it's K. So it's K. So that's how you find the area at the top. And to find the area at the bottom, uh, let me show you this. So to find the area at the bottom, meaning it's the same line which is blue, but at the bottom here, right? Because we started off with the top, which is our first step, and our second step is going to be here at the bottom, right? So meaning uh, we are having something like this at the bottom. Let me just uh, indicate it like this. So we're having something like this at the bottom. And remember, we are looking at the blue, blue line first. So meaning it's going to be uh, a line coming here, going there. And then um, we're having D here, we're having E here, we're having B here, right? And then I ask you to find the area. Remember that the perpendicular height goes there, right? Uh, and then it's, it's, it's K, right? So if I ask you to find the area of, of this, uh, I'm just going to shade it like this, of this part here, this triangle here. So the area is equal to half. Our base is what? It's this part here of BD, right? So it's BD multiplied by my height, which is this K here, multiplied by K. So that's how we're going to find the area of this triangle here. So it's very important that you know down what I just said um, before we continue from this theorem here. So now let's continue. Let's find the area at the top. So now we're looking at the blue line. We're finding the area at the top. So the area at the top, area of triangle ADE is equal to half. What is the base? It's AD multiplied by the height, which is K, right? And then divide by the area at the bottom. It's triangle um, DEB, right? Which is equal to half. What's the base? It's DB, right? And then what's the height? It's K. So this will go away, this will go away, this will go away, this will go away. And then you'd be left with um, AD over DB, right? So it's going to be AD over DB, which if you can check, it's similar to this, right? So we're on the right track. So now um, we found the first part of this, right? So we need to find another part now. So now remember, we we're focusing on the blue line. Here. Now let's focus on the purple line. Let's focus on the purple line. So if we look at the purple line, I'm just gonna uh, zoom in here so that you can see. If we focus on the purple line and looking at the top, right, looking here at the top, um, the area of triangle ADE is equal to what? So the, the triangle at the top but looking at the purple line, we're having half, what's the base? The base, it's AE, right? It's this part here. Multiplied by the height for uh, the purple. Why am I saying purple instead of saying pink? Anyways, I'm colorblind. <laughs> um, so, uh, it's actually pink. Why did I say that? Um, colorblind. So, um... Yeah, so now we're just going to say half times AE multiplied by our perpendicular height, right, which is H, right, and divide by the bottom area, area of triangle DEB, which is equal to half, multiplied by what is the base for this one. We are focusing this side, remember. So it's EC, right, multiplied by the height, which is H. So this goes away, this goes away. And we are left with um, AE over EC, right? And if you check clearly, it's actually this part of our required to prove. So now we have both um, the, the left-hand side of this required to prove and the right-hand side. We're not done. We're not done yet. There's a statement that we need to indicate first before we, we conclude and say this is actually equal to this, right? So what is the first step that you need to do? Is by looking at this uh, bottom part of this huge triangle, right? The bottom part is this one here that looks something like this, right? It looks something like this. And this is parallel to this, right? So this is D, this is E. 
excuse me, this is C, this is B, right? And then there's a triangle here, right? And a triangle D, right? They share this space here of BC, right? So um, there's a statement, um, you can check it in your books. It says that if you have parallel lines, which in this case, this, is, this line is parallel to this one, right? If you have parallel lines and uh, there's two triangles inside, so here our triangle, the first triangle is this one here, right? And then our second triangle is this one here, right? So you have two triangles. If you have two triangles in between parallel lines and they share the same base, so these two triangles share this base here, and they share the same base, therefore the area of those triangles is going to be equal. I hope you got that. If you didn't, please uh, ask me in the comment section below. I will repeat myself. I always tell learners, I used to teach grainies, you know, old grainies. So I'm used to repeating something more than once. I can repeat it five times, six times. I really don't mind. So the statement that I said is, if um, you're having a parallel lines, right? If you have parallel lines, and then there's uh, triangles inside inside those parallel lines, right? And those uh, triangles share uh, the same base. Therefore, the area of, let's say, triangle 1, is going to be equal to the area of triangle 2. So that's what it means. So it means now that um, uh, you, can, you can just conclude the statement and say the area of triangle, so now I'm going to look at the blue line but at the bottom, right? The blue line at the bottom. Triangle DEB is equal to the area of triangle um, this one now, we're looking at this one, so it's going to be D, E, C. So what's the reason you can talk about parallel lines and say D, E is parallel to B, C, right? Or you can expand your explanation, right? It doesn't really matter. So let me end it here. So uh, the area of triangle D, E, B is equal to the area of triangle D, E, C, right? Which is similar similarly to the top right um you can say the area of triangle a d e which is uh, this one here is equal to the area of triangle a d e but with a different perpendicular height right so once you've you've stated this statement this one this is very important and the reason Therefore, I don't know why I wrote therefore with dots and then I write therefore in text. <laughs> this is crazy. So, therefore, once you've proven this or once you've written this statement, therefore you can equate these two. So you can say therefore AD over DB is equal to AE over EC, right? Obviously, if you state the reason why you say that um, it's line, drawn parallel to one side of a triangle. So that is how we prove this theorem here. If you didn't understand, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that bell button.